penalty then, shall we? Talk about the Jotter opportunity. Mm -hmm. You played boys, slowing down to purposely get hit. Something players do. Well, number one, yes, you can do that. But the most important thing in this game was that's not what happened. He didn't, he didn't come to a stop. His, his motion was natural, getting himself in a position where he was going to take a shot with his left foot. And one of the reasons we have VAR is because referees sometimes don't see what actually happened properly. Right. That's the reason we have VAR. So the fact that they didn't go to that and, and the fact that somebody in the VAR box who probably looked at it agreed with the referee and the fact that he didn't think it was a foul either is way beyond comprehension for anybody who's played in a game and, and who thinks they know about football because that is just flat out wrong. Absolute nonsense. Some of these referees in the English Premier League are not only making fools of themselves with their decisions, they're now in their attempt to try and explain their decisions, making it worse. One, as Stevie said, in the act of taking a shot, you have to compose yourself to some extent to, to, to try and get your balance right. Two, even if he did stop, which he didn't, you're allowed to do so. You're allowed to slow down in the field and stop. You're not allowed to run, bash into the back of somebody. Mm -hmm. And, and it's your, not your job as the opposing player when you're in front to get out the way. It's your job as a defender to make sure you either play the ball cleanly or you're not clumsy. I, well, I'm not shocked by the standard of refereeing I've seen in the last couple of months, six months, whatever it is in England. That was an unbelievable decision that VAR at worst couldn't have sat there and said, listen, you've not seen this properly at full speed. He's clattered into the back of him and the act of taking the shot, you've got to go and look at this. That, that, that's flabbergasting. And then to come out and say he stopped. Right. Well, what if he did stop? It doesn't make a difference. You're not allowed to run into the back of somebody and bowl them over in the box. You're just not allowed to do that. It's a penalty either way. So that, of course, yes. is one of the big decisions that went against Liverpool in the first half. The one before that was Harry Kane. Many thought after seeing the replay that at least the referee would go over to the monitor to check. Now, Harry Kane was obviously asked about the challenge after the game. And he said, um, no, definitely not. It was a strong tackle, but I thought I won the ball. Obviously, I haven't seen it back. When you are playing against top sides and fighting for points, sometimes there'll be strong tackles. They checked it and we moved on. It didn't feel like it. And Andy on the pitch said, you just caught my foot. When you slow things down, it makes it look a little worse than it is. That's what VAR is there for. I was quite surprised to be booked, to be honest. I won the ball. Well, there's a lot of nonsense in that, but I think that just goes, goes to show that the, the speed of the game, again, goes back to the reason why we have VAR. The speed of the game makes you think things that didn't actually happen. Right. It, it kind of tags on to the referee thinking he saw something that he didn't see. And Harry's in the same boat. Harry's saying he won the ball. He believes this. Yeah, he does. He believes it. He didn't win the ball at all. The ball was played onto his arm, which was a way over here somewhere. Yeah. And then he's saying Robertson said, oh, cut. well, he caught his foot. I'll tell you what, he caught his foot about a foot out off the ground. And the only reason that Andy Robertson walked away is because he, he saw it coming. And that's how, again, another reason, that's how late this challenge was from Kane, that Andy Robertson, after playing the ball, saw this challenge coming and lifted his standing foot. Because if he hadn't lifted his standing foot, he'd be sitting in the hospital bed right now waiting to get his his ankle put back together. So, again, how somebody can watch that again and go through what happens on a football field. And nobody's saying Harry Kane went out to do him. I, I don't think he went to do him. He got carried away, bit of red mist, a little bit like Robertson, and made a challenge that he shouldn't have. Oh, and did I mention that his studs were up off the ground? I mean, there are so many reasons to give Harry Kane a red card there. Right. It's not just one thing they missed. There's a whole series of things that were missed. One by the referee, which is acceptable on the field because the game has gone so fast, but absolutely not acceptable one bit from a, an official, a qualified official sitting in a booth who's able to look at this two, three or four times and, go th and dissect it to come out and say it's a yellow and stick with the ref 
is, is just, again, flat out. It's incompetence, is what it is. Listen, we've all made, a, we've, we've made hundreds of tackles. You know when you've played the ball. Right. You know, when you, you know when you've taken a player out. Hopefully whoever asked Harry Kane that question there uh, at the end of it said, thanks, Harry, that's utter nonsense. Because <laughs> it is. Let, let me, let's be honest about it. And people say this doesn't happen, but it does. I think Harry Kane survives because he's Mr Nice Guy, England captain, Tottenham captain, not that kind of guy, supposedly, kind of player. I think if that's a player with a reputation right. of putting it around right. in the Premier League... Well, this guy puts it around. He's got a disciplinary problem. He's aggressive. He's noisy. He's always in your face. I think he'd have gone. But I think they've looked at it and went, ah, oh, you know, Harry, Kane, not, not that bad. He's made an attempt. It doesn't matter. You've got to take it on face value. It's a dangerous challenge. It's a red card. And again, they've failed. I mean, they did do it with the, I know we'll get to it, with the, the Robertson one. But... For him to come out and say, I played the ball and Andy was all right about it. <laughs> I've never heard that in my... I've never, I've never made a tackle on somebody and then I've, I've, I've known straight after a game if they're all right about it or not. <laughs> hey, what, what's going, what the hell's going on? Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.